Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adaslis. In today's video, I'm going to be opening the most anticipated, most sought after Pokemon product of 2022, and that is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Charizard. So, without further ado, let's get it. Alright, guys, the time has come. It's here. It's finally here. I'm so excited. The Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Charizard. The light might be reflecting off it too much. But there's the front of the box. Here's the bottom. Here's the top. Sword and Shield logo. Let me see if I can. That might be better. There we go. Here's the other side. Pokemon Training Card game. And here's the other side. I'll leave that on screen if you want to read it for a second. And here's the back. There you go. Might be tough to make out. Let me see if I can get a screen without the light. There you go. There's the products inside. Leave it on there for a second if you want to read it. It's going to be tough with the lighting. Yeah, there we go. That should work. There you go. Right. So without further scooby ado, guys, let's crack this thing open. Definitely don't want to be cutting into the actual box, so I've got the little cardboard insert. There we go. One thing straight off the bat, what I like about this compared to the celebrations one is this cardboard insert. It's not stuck with glue. I remember. With my celebrations ultra premium collection it was actually stuck which meant if you want to keep the box as a display piece you might get a bit of glue up to it anyway all right so it should be magnet from the top there we go all right and there's the opening of the box from the front oh that is a beauty that is a beauty and then you flip it around And the first thing you get is this should be the playmat. Yep, this is the playmat. Here is the playmat. A bit smaller than usual, Wolf. Let's see. From height wise, top to bottom, it seems smaller than usual. But before I lay this down, let me put it to the side and open everything else. Alright, so first draw is going to be. Oh, you know what? Let me hide it. Oh, is there a point? Nah, here's the, oh, there's your promo card. I mean, your code card. I'll be show you a bit off in a minute. But let me leave that on the side for now. And then you get eight packs in here, I believe. Here's the cardboard insert. On the left side, Charizard. 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 Nothing on the back. Oh, almost forgot. Here is the little booklet with Charizard V Max table of contents. I believe this is the whole Sword and Shield expansion lineup. Let's have a quick little run through. Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Darkness of Blaze, Champions Path, Vivid Voltage, Shining Fates, Battle Stars, Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, probably the best set of 2021, or the best set of um, Sword and Shield, Fusion Strike. Brilliant Stars, I'd probably say Brilliant Stars is my favourite set. Astral Radiance. Lost Origin, probably my second favourite. And the Silver Tempest, which is yet to be released, should be soon. And then the promo cards. And that is your booklet. Alright guys, so middle draw. First you get a V-Star which is normal acrylic, don't know why they didn't make it metal. I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant tangent with Pokemon. 
probably when I start opening the packs, not now. Alright, let's beast our marker. Oh, before we even get the perks. Here's your metal Charizard coin. Here is your metal Charizard coin. If the phone can focus properly, probably won't focus. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that properly, but there you go. And in these packs, you get one, two, three Fusion Strike, one, two, three Evolving Skies, Vivid Voltage, and Darkness Ablaze. And on the right, box, here are your Charizard sleeves, which just looking at it right now, these don't look that great because of the red border. And right off the bat, right off the bat, the bloody card sleeves are even off center. How do you make the card sleeves off center? Really? Come on, Pokemon Company. There you go, it's probably got the map. Frosty finish or the trust finish. Yep, it does. Here are your metal dice. Or oh, your metal, metal damage counters. There you go, lighting might make it a bit tough to see. There's your damage counters. And here are your metal condition markers. There you go. Metal. And that is all the contents from the Ultra Premium Collection Charizard. Alright, let's get into the packs. Let me clear up this playmat first. Oh yeah, I'll show you the promo cards as well as we get the playmat done. As much as I wanted to keep the box on display as well, it would have blocked the Charizard playmat, the beautiful Charizard playmat. This is probably going to be my go-to playmat from now on. Use it for however long until the next best one comes, if there is one. But, alright, let me show you the promo cards. Alright, there's your code card. It's the Charizard. Sleeping Charizard. This is a beautiful artwork. And right off the bat, you can probably see the line doesn't hit it too bad. It's off center. And the corners cut from the left on the bottom left. A bit bad, so. Aye, man. Probably gonna be like an 8 grade, which I'm probably gonna send it to Ace. I might not, depending on how bad it is. But there's your Charizard. Here's your Charizard V Max. Oh, this, this one might be my favorite. I don't know yet. This one or the V Star, I think, will be my favorite. In handle. Oh my days, these are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous in hand. Again, corners are cut on the left side a bit bad. Well, just the bottom left anyway on this one. Centering is not bad. A little bit heavier on the right. But that's the Charizard VMAX. And here is the Charizard V Star. Yeah, I think this is my favorite. I think the Charizard Vista has to be my favorite. There you go, this one's centering. This one's centering is actually a bit better. Definitely better on the centering. But the corner, that one corner on the left. I don't know if you're going to see it. It's pretty much square. Oh, come on, focus. It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. It's pretty much square. So, apart from that one corner, I think this would probably get a 10 in Ace. No, it won't. Maybe. Oh, it's got a bit of whitening on the corners. Yeah, probably not. That's the only bad thing about these, man. Terrible quality control. Alright, so that's the contents of the box, guys. The Charizard promos, the dice, the coin, the V-Star marker, the condition markers, the card sleeves. Nothing left but to get into the packs. Alright, so let me sort these. I think I'm gonna leave this Lost Origin. Lost Origin for Lost, then Brilliant Stars, then Astral Radiance. 
Fusion Strikes always been my worst. Evolving Skies. Yeah, I think I'll open it like this. Yeah. Evolving Skies are caught at the end. Evolving Skies will probably be at the end. Alright, guys, so let's get into the packs. First, starting off with Fusion Strike. Yeah, um, what was I going to say? The kind of run that I wanted to make about the Pokemon Company when it comes to quality control and stuff with the V Star Marker for one. Everything is premium, everything is um, metal. And then the V Star Marker, they make it acrylic. And they've made a metal V Star Marker as well. Yeah, they've made a, v a metal V Star Marker as well from those. from the world's. 2022 um that v-star marker and condition marker box so i don't get why they couldn't have made it for this ultra premium collection unless they made this before they made those i don't know maybe that's one part and then when it comes to cards and stuff i mean i kind of get it because they're following the japanese um the japanese like Kind of card thing which they haven't caught up on but i think the way the japanese do it as well is probably that way but i'm going to use evolving sky as an example where the suicune that released in evolving sky is almost in there as we all right baby voltage yeah um suicune released in Evolving Skies And then Okay that one came backwards So I'll just give you that like that And then the Entei and the Raikou Which would have made sense for my perfectionist The perfectionist in me and my binder and stuff like that I want Here you go nice Told you VMAX Every time I've opened Vivi Voltage I pulled this card Literally almost every time I've opened like a Product that includes Vivi Voltage I pulled this card Darkness of Blaze, which even the bloody pack is off center. Come on, man. Really? Their quality control. Bad. Yeah, the perfectionist in me, like in a set, you would want all of the Pokemon. Okay, so there you go. This one's gonna have a hollow or better in it, possibly. Yeah, you'd want, like, why can't they just release? Suicune, Entei, and Raikou from the same set, the Radiance. Halfway through the video, I guess. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice to have in your binder or in any set? All, all the legendary dogs in one set instead of separating it into two different sets. But yeah, that was my little rant, guys. I mean, I don't, maybe you can let me know in the comments down below why they do that. And you can let me know in the comments down below as well if... Why is the light like, following? There you go. I don't know if you've been able to see the cold cards. I only just realised now that the light might have kind of obstructed the cold cards. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same way as me where Pokemon are doing stuff randomly. Is it a Japanese thing? Is it just how they do it? Let me know, let me know, let me know your thoughts down below. Alright guys. High five. High five. Right. Magneton, curry, pretty top, stack, crawfish, cypher, togepi, zisu, bridget. I mean apart from a V and a VMAX, no hits. Wow, this is this is terrible. Alright guys, before we get into the last few remaining packs, if you stuck with me this far and you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. I appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. And if you're a current supporter, thank you very much. But without further Scooby ado, let's crack on. Alright guys, Billion Stars time. My favourite set of Sword and Shield, I guess. 
we'll see. Silver Tempest might even take that crown once I start getting into that. But I think Brilliant Stars is probably my favourite set from Sword and Shield thus far. I started with Evolving Skies. And Evolving Skies was my favourite until Brilliant Stars. Now I think Brilliant Stars has kept and is winning that part of me. I don't know, it's tough. Like with a couple of the things that I've seen from Silver Tempest, you can't avoid it, it's just thumbnails everywhere and stuff like that. Um Silver Tempest could. Silver Tempest could take that crown. But even then I feel like Lost Origins might even take that crown. So Lost Origins has the best trainer gallery set for sure. It's got nice old arts as well. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm tempted to say Lost Origins. But also Brilliant Stars because Brilliant Stars, the luck, nice. Victorian Yahoo! training gallery, my first training gallery. But looking at it now, it's just terrible that these. I've only pulled one training gallery. What the hell? Yeah, I think Lost Origin might get the come my luck as well with Lost Origin. Actually not. Astro Radiance. Okay, so don't know why this is backwards, but this has a hollow or better in it. For Lost Origin. Wait. No, it doesn't. White Cold Card is nothing. Damn it. Yeah, so nothing in this one. Don't even want know why I'm slow rolling it. I don't know actually, I feel like all of them, all the three so far. Kind of saw it on the back of the screen, so I haven't ruined it yet. Wait, no. And then, see the bloody cold card just threw me off. Right, here we go. It's probably gonna be nothing in it anyway. Tina. Okay, wow, this is bad. Two hits and half a hit technically with a trainer gallery. From all of these packs. This is what the hell? Really? Can Evolving Skies make up for it? Will Evolving Skies make up for it? Probably not, because Evolving Skies rates are just a oh, it's bad. And with how many there are, how many cards there are, you're likely to pull nothing. Two packs remaining, guys. Two packs remaining. I mean, the pack selection is good. Pack selection is good. Just all rates. Psh, wow. Bad. Like, really bad. I can't believe this. I mean, going away with the rest of the contents. The free trials I was make up for it for sure. But. Oh, nice. I'll take that. Okay. Redemption. At least a little bit of it. Sylveon V Fallout, which I need as well for my Evolving Skies Master Set. Alright, last pack guys, Roman Skies. Pulling that Sylvia on V full out, which I need as well for my master set. That's that's good. Yes, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. And out of all of the pools to get a pull from, Evolving Skies, yes. That's the one. Okay. Alright, so last pack magic, are we gonna get anything? I think there's a V at least in this. Yeah, there's a V. You can see it peeking at the bottom. Pikachu, Papillo, Slackoff, Yamon Chan. First clear and Moltres, on the V, nice, not bad. So two evolutions to finish it off. Evolving Skies. So Evolving Skies single-handedly made this box that much better. Alright, so not including the free promos, which oh those look so good. Wow. Just the light hitting it from above as well that makes it look makes it pop. Nice. And you've probably seen them better close up in the glam shots. But anyway, so we've got Umbreon V. From Evolving Skies, this Cinderace was from Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike, Trainer Gallery Vaporeon from Brilliant Stars, Togix's VMAX from Vivid Voltage, which for some reason every single Vivid Voltage pack that I get, this card is the one that I pull. And the redeeming card from the packs 
from Evolving Skies, which is probably the best pull you can pull out of everything in this, unless you pull the alternate arts and stuff like that. But Sylveon V full art, which I can add to my Evolving Skies binder, which I haven't done in a long time. Because finding Evolving Skies is a bit tough now, and expensive, and it's kind of risky to open an Evolving Skies with a pull rate. But anyway, that is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Charizard. If you stuck with me to the end, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.